So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in services, click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on any service one time and then click on W on your keyboard. Now you're gonna scroll down till you find Windows Audio Endpoints Builder. This one right here, you're gonna double click on it. Change the startup type to automatic and then click on start, which will then make the service status running and then click on okay. Now you wanna right click on this and then click on restart. And then click on yes. And then once you do that, you wanna double click on Windows Audio. Make sure that the startup type is on automatic and then click on start, which will then make the service status running and then click on okay. Now you want to right click on Windows Audio and then click on restart. And then once you've done that, you wanna click on any service one time again and then click on R on your keyboard. You wanna find remote procedure call. This one right here, there's gonna be two of them. You wanna to go to the first one, remote procedure call. Click on this. And now you wanna set the startup type to automatic and then click on start, which will then make the service status running and then click on okay. And now for the second step, you wanna head over to search and type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you wanna click on other troubleshooters. And now you wanna find audio. Once you find that, you wanna click on run. And then click on this, wait for this to load. And then once this loads up, you wanna click on yes. And then you wanna go through this. You wanna follow all the steps that will come up. Once you do that, you just wanna restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.